Hello and welcome to day 18 of the NA10 series. I know a lot of you are waiting for this particular week because we are going to cover how do you automate WhatsApp related things using NA10. So this week is all about WhatsApp automation. And for that, we need to do some settings. That's exactly what we're going to cover in today's video. So let's get started. So and also quickly show you how do we create a business account or business portfolio. And for that, we need to go to business.facebook.com and uh, click on this particular icon here and you can go down to create a business portfolio. Um, I try to share a screen which will be shown when you don't have any businesses. Uh, but right now, because I have a uh, few businesses added, uh, we have it over here. So here we can see create a business board for you. And uh, we can give a name here. Let's say, for example, uh, Bizmeet. And the first name could be Ritesh. Like the business email could be support at bizmeet.io. And click on create. So once you create that, it will show you a screen where it says nothing is available to be claimed because for this particular business, we don't have anything created. So you can click on next. You can see you can invite anyone else as employee or uh, full control, which is admin control. Uh, I'll skip it for now. Move on to the next one. You can see the details and then I'll click on confirm. So once you do that, you can see a business ID here, which is meant for a bizmate business which we just created click on settings and this will open up the business settings screen right where you can invite uh, uh, new people uh, you can invite new partners you can invite system users or rather you can add system users which is very important which is what we saw uh, previously right so we click here system username let's say Kurite's test uh is it an employee or admin let's say employee admin create system user right now you can see that it shows in order to create a system user an app must be a part of this business right and that's where we will go to developers.facebook.com and we created a app uh before you know that so you create that app and use that for this particular business so let's go to system user, which we will need uh, in a short while. Click on add and we can give the system user name here. Ritesh, let's say test. And uh, we could make it as an employee or admin. I'll do it as an admin. Click on create system user. Now here it shows we need to have an app a part of this business only then we can create system users now let's go back to uh, developers.facebook.com and here you can see my apps go there and uh, i'll create a new app from here and uh, we could give the name let's say abcd whatsapp uh, app contact email could be anything you can change it as well click on next we go to use cases and in our case we want connect uh, with customers through whatsapp but uh, you could choose whatever you are doing. Uh, this could be used for any kind of uh, WhatsApp or Instagram based automation. Because we want to do uh, WhatsApp based automation, I'll select this. Click on next. And it asks you for a business. Now we just created one, which is uh, Bizmeet. I'll select that. Click on next. And then publishing requirements. No requirements identified. This may change if you add more to this app. So because we use uh, WhatsApp, it says uh, no requirements are identified. It's straightforward. So let's click on next. And then we have uh, app name here. That is ABCDWA. App email is shown here. Use case is shown. Business is shown. And then we can go to dashboard. It will ask me for the um, password. I will use my password manager. And within a minute, this app should be created. As you can see, we've got the app created. Now we can go to customize the connect with customer through WhatsApp use case. 
let's click on this so we have here quick start with the uh, bizmate being the business selected and we can click on continue and we can click on start using the api we basically need uh, four parameters so i'll click i'll create a docs.new and the four parameters that we need is client id client secret access token and phone number i so let's go back to this one we've got a from number which is a test number here uh, we could add a phone number from here okay we'll go to that in a while so we can send the uh, phone numbers from here manage phone number list so add a recipient phone number i'll select india and I'll add 70 my phone number. Let's go to next. And it'll ask me for the verification code. So 81370 is my code. Click on next. And your number is added here. Right. So let's quickly check uh, test message. So you can see here uh, uh, curl is already available. And for us to be able to send in test message, uh, we have to generate access token. This is just temporary, which uh, uh, gets reset every 24 hours. So I'll click on continue as Vitesh Agde. And uh, I'll select all, right, uh, all of these numbers. And click on continue. Click on save. So this will, and click on correct. So this will generate a, a access token, which is temporary, like I mentioned. And that access token is already added over here. I'll click on send message and I should receive a message real quick. And yes, I've received the message. So this is how you set up the WhatsApp API. Once you're done with this, we need to fetch four informations, the client ID, the client secret, the phone number ID, and the access token. Access token is not this one, but we will get it from somewhere else. Before that, phone number ID is available here. So copy this over here, keep it here. We also have the WhatsApp business account number here. In some cases we use this, but uh, in this use case, we don't need it. Okay, let's head over to app settings and go to basic. And now you have the app ID and app secret. So app ID is your client ID and the app secret, you'll have to click on show. And this is your client secret. For the access token, let's head back to our uh, business.facebook.com where we had created our business account. And I have to click on create system user. And now you see that this got created because we had created one app with regards to this particular business. Let's go to assign assets and let's select this. Let's come to WhatsApp accounts and select this as well. We'll make it as full control and of course full control here as well. And click on assign assets. So assets assigned, two assi assets were assigned to. Let's just refresh this because we have to see those assigned assets here. And you can see both of them coming here. Now click on generate token here and you have to select the app, which is this one. Click on next, set expiry. You could set it to 60 days, which means every 60 days you have to generate a new access token or you can click on never. I'll go with 60 days for now. Click on next and assign permissions. You will have to select these three things and then click on continue. All the three are related to WhatsApp. Click on continue. And this is your access token. Click on done and paste this over here. So we've got all the four details that we need. These are the four parameters that we're going to use tomorrow to create our WhatsApp based automation. Meanwhile, I'll also quickly show you how do we add phone number. I'm not, I'm not going to add any phone number today because I don't have one. You need to, um, 
add phone number which you cannot use with your normal whatsapp or something like that it will be meant only for this so i quickly show you how to do that so go to api setup and you have from click on add phone number okay so you need to have your business name here business website or profile page you have to select your country and you just have to follow all this process uh, they have a very stringent process of uh, adding uh, business phone numbers because they want to ensure that spams are limited as much as possible. Unfortunately, I'll not be able to show you this entire process because we already have a couple of verified number and uh, this will take a long time because of Facebook being involved and uh, their approval process. But I hope this helps. Yes, I know WhatsApp automation is not as simple as uh, you might have thought because you need to do all the settings on uh, Facebook and you need to get these four parameters that we got today. In tomorrow's video, we're going to see how do we use WhatsApp as a trigger and how do we send a normal message to the user using WhatsApp as an action note. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.